Welcome back in Digital Studio and in this video I'm going to give you the SDK and the JDK I'm going to show you how you can set up those and I'll also show you an example of export with the new Unreal 5.6 The first thing you have to install those SDK file Make sure if you already have any existing SDK and the JDK setup just remove those otherwise it's going to be can it can become like Okay then once you done this thing you have to go to our description and you have find a link called this thing which is the Google Play Store link and you find this app which is basically learning in the game day 5 app which is developed by us and we are still working on this we are updating it more and more and there you find a section called project files and from there you can down just press this button and I will, you can see there's the Unreal 5.6 point which is this video's uh, thumbnail and just download the file once you download it you find something like this a zip folder called SDK 5.6 R once you extract this thing, it doesn't need any, it doesn't require any password. So you have, you can just basically open the folder and you find that three particular file called JDK, NDK and SDK. Once you're done, you have to basically set up first the JDK in your environment variable. Typically, it doesn't require too much, but for safety purpose, you can enable it. Just go to settings or you can search in your search bar called environment variable or environment system variables and go to the system variable and here you find two different type of thing which is system variable and environment variable you have to basically scroll down and you might be see something called like java home or home only okay typically if you don't find anything you have to basically just click on new and you have to put like this java then home okay and now for the variable value once you extract this keep it somewhere that you're never going to be delayed okay make sure you always need those file for export so make sure you keep it somewhere like c drive or you know, any other hard disks so it's on going to affect okay then go to the jdk file and then once you're done here you have to basically enter to the bean file and from here copy this thing and then come in one variable just paste that here okay like this then okay then once you're done again go to the path press edit and here click new paste it then at here same you have to do in the system variable click new and write or type java home and simply like paste the same location and here and make sure you find also here a path for file click on edit click on new paste it and okay okay and okay now you are done it doesn't need to give restart but if you want you can give restart once you're done you can go to the unreal engine just create a project it's as simple as a mobile project nothing else go to the project settings and make sure one more thing lots of you i, I see that like typically i try to help you in a free as well so i saw that lots of my user always do a mistake that whenever you install the engine at here make sure in the option you downloaded the android target platform otherwise it's not going to be work make sure you have this thing is enabled okay once you're done you have to go to the first in the packaging sector and at your pre-registration installer just make sure it doesn't require so you don't have to give then make sure in this for this one i'm going to show you the development build not the publishing build okay but you can use the same method for the publishing as well because the sdk is going to be supported okay then once you've done it then you have to go target hardware make sure that it's a mobile okay and in a separate platform just disable all of those that it doesn't require okay just keep it android because we are only going to be export for android if you have ios just click on ios as well once you're done at this point make sure you go in the maps and modes and choose your level in my case this is a very open world level i don't need those things i need a basic level and just keep it something named called map one okay now go to maps and modes and choose this thing also, never forget to add a player start location because sometimes Unreal Engine become confused and it doesn't know where you have to be spawned. So if you are already level existing any player start location, keep it. Otherwise, just add it by yourself. Once you're done here, lots of YouTubers show you that you have to add the maps in maps and mode file. You don't have to do it. You can simply scroll down in call platform list. Instead of platform tabs, you can go to Android SDK. Here you find three different types of options, which is SDK, NDK, and JDK. Now you have to give it particular setup, which is basically have to pick the files. Just pick these three dots. Now choose the location that you already have those SDK. Just choose the SDK folder. 
for the MDK, you have to simply do the same method, which is choose the MDK. And for last, for the JDK, choose the JDK. Okay, done. Then go to the Android. And here, just click on configure now. If it's your SDK found successfully, it's going to be compiled and show you a green line. Make sure in the com dot package never write this, this or this. Okay, never do like this. Always give your all the letter in a small like com dot like your studio name is uh, ABC studio okay keep it like that never use capital letter at here then at here the driver platform and minimum sdk keep it similar because it's always same for the google play store you have to target for 36 so you can get 36 and package game data inside of apk yes true for the installation location you doesn't need to give any preferences external or auto it's just keep it internal it's always work okay then you can scroll down and make sure from here you choose the which one we're going to support like Vulkan, OpenGL and the ARM60 and sorry, 86 and ETC so once you're done here just scroll down you doesn't need to do anything extra here in inside of AXTC, DXTC and ESTC if you want you can disable any of those particular thing if you don't want to require DSTC or DXTC build otherwise you can keep continue now click on saved now you can press platform and now you can see the Android icon is not shared to do it, just click on install the SDK, it just run a bat file for you, just give it a restart and it's automatically going to boot the engine. So because it's already found the file and sometimes it's required, so just give it and it's going to be, you can see the Android icon has been come, see, the Android icon has been come. So you don't have to give updated SDK, it's automatically going to be fined. Now at here, you can choose the multi XTC, DXTC, ETC export if you required for all the export. In particular case, I'm going to only export for ASTC. For show you very fast or quickly package game now you can try, you have to choose any particular location always try to choose a location or digs which is very fast like a c drive like where you have a nvme in my case i have all of my nvme so i can choose any of it or choose a hard digs uh, uh, like a ssd place okay so i'm going to choose in the music folder it doesn't need to give any particular folder name it automatically going to be created so just click on select the folder and now you have to wait now it will depends on export like quick and uh, output and make sure lots of you always do mistake like you doesn't connect your device with wi-fi make sure i'm using the internet at here okay but make sure in your case if you doesn't have internet cable connected with your pc use wi-fi or any type of sort of network because the export always required internet connection okay so make sure you always have the the internet and if you already did for example i also give you a question answer like lots of you ask that bro it's exporting from hours two hours or three hours make sure a particular brand project doesn't going to be take like a more than an hour if your pc is very low quality like just intel i5 or 16 gb ram or something like so in my case this is a ryzen 9 5200x and with a 64 gigabytes of ram and it's a fast pc so in my case it's probably going to be take 10 uh, 5 minutes to 6 minutes around it's not going to be take too much if you're doing it first time like you compiling all the shader from blank it can be take uh, like a around uh, 45 minutes so give it time just give it a package and do it for a check for a break like you can give it a coffee break and once you come you'll be see that it's done so in my case it's compiling let's give it time and let's see what happened after that this thing okay great so for my case it's only took uh, like a three minute and you can see the build success so what you have to do basically like you doesn't have to do anything like once it's done compiling you will be see this kind of like a log which is like this line once it's in a this line it's mean that your package is almost ready which is like it's going to be almost done the apk file and you find from here the cooking stuff or like a cooking command then you will see something like this it's basically adding some raw file to chunk and etc pack file just leave it like that and you find something like from here which is installing app permission debugging etc etc once you see this thing you have to almost done like the 95 percent of packaging okay make sure that you keep internet and after then after like doing some stuff like a one to two seconds and you'll be see something like the build success so once it's built success now you can able to install this apk in your mobile like go to the android stc and here you can see your apk at x64 bit as well you find all the installer file also like you can directly connect to your 
PC with your mobile and just click on install and you're going to be see that the APK installing. So that's all in this video. See you next video. Bye bye.